Here we have uh, it's a Dolmetsch um, spinet with um, Dolrin or nylon jacks. It was originally voiced in um, in leather. But we got the problem is that the leather over the years they, the parts break, so it's just a matter of taking out the part of leather and then backing it up with a Delrin plectra. The plectra you'll find have got I don't know if the, um, the camera will show it, but they've got a hairy underside and a smooth side. The smooth side always goes towards the string. So the smooth side will always smooth, be able to smooth on there. And the underside will be, grip onto the part of the leather that's already come out. Uh, it's a matter of just sliding it into the jack. This is easier said than done. There is always a risk of, of breaking the, the tongue in the jack. So what I do is to remove a very thin amount of leather equivalent to the thickness of the plectra. I'm just going to pour, cut it and pause it. Pause and cut it. about half the thickness of the plectra. On this spinet um, we've got a 8 foot stop and the 4 foot as well. This 4 foot has been without a sounding set of plectra for many many years force it in cut it to length I've already made some little marks on it may have to cut it twice so I'm just going to cut it a little bit long And using a sharp, here's a bit of ebony, make sure your scalpels are sharp. This is a, a 10, it's 10A scalpel blade. I'm going to make some chamfers on the sides of the, the plectra. side then the other well this act this plectrum is actually a little bit loose in its in its container spot of cement at the back of this one. Right, there's a little bit of hairiness on the front. I don't know if we can if the camera will pick this up. 
and that hairiness is enough for the for the jack to cause um, what we call a hanging note. So we want to cut that off. Forty-five degrees. I'm going to use the other end. Cutting it across and down. It's better to cut across than pushing it down and then pulling it towards you. Okay then? So I go through that again. So you push it down and cut across rather than pushing it down and then coming towards you. But you might put a little bit of hairiness on it. Right, the idea is then that you get um there should be a tiny a small amount of free movement between the plectrum and the damper about the thickness of the the string itself so I'm going to pull it up a little bit and it's just a matter of just delicately moving these things up and down until you've got the right amount it's maybe not quite enough it's hard to show you because of the um, parallax error I'm trying to do it and look at the camera at the same time a little bit of cobweb there as well uh, and also often find that on the ends of these jacks you get a little nib just there and I've had quite a few I've had several dozen so I'm just going to remove that with a fine little file that's better and that's going to protect the felt on the back of the key so there you are and there's the that little bit of leather which just needs to be trimmed back as well it's pretty straightforward right that's pretty much Fitting a Delrin plectrum to note that's been that's had leather plectra before, and this is on an Arnold Dolmetsch spinet from the I would say the 1960s. Okay, now you can see that the um, four foot um, jack has been put in its place, and I'm just trying it out. Uh, slightly confusing on this one because in fact the it's this plectrum there not hitting this string but there's a string right beneath it which is the end of the rightmost point of my tweezers so it's plucking the string beneath the wound eight foot string there's the eight foot string there that is the wound one but there's a string beneath that and just hear it, there's the damper for the forefoot down below, below there. The other jack here will be plucking this string in due course. It's just it's just doing it's just um rubbing against the string but not enough to play it. So that'll be the next job working on the eight foots. But at the moment I'm working on the four foots. As you can see, it's quite a delicate procedure, all this, and everything is multiplied. So, for instance, there are 60 jacks per register. There's the, these jacks are in um, brass guides, and that's called the register. Right, I've just found slightly clearer on this one further up the compass. You can just see the, the plectrum... This one is too, it's too strong down there. You can see the plectrum's actually going beyond the string. Really, that should only be about the thickness of the string beyond. It's about twice the thickness of the string at the moment. And as a result, it is too, too strong. Also, the damper is, is not quite working efficiently. The 
we'll just push the damper a little, little bit. The jack is still a little bit long, so I'm going to reduce it in length. Screw it in a little tiny bit. Remove some of the nib on the adjustment. End of the jack. Slip it in again. Move the eight foot string away. Oh. Still slightly too long. So I'm going to trim that one back. If you're an impatient person, this is not the job for you. It really does take a lot of patience to do any of the procedures on um, on harpsichords or pianos as well. Slip it around. The, the amount of projection is about right. Maybe slightly too, too little. The damper is still not quite right, so push it down just with the edge. Some tweezers. Very nearly there. Something else that's of note um, on this. Uh, particular spinet the forefoot has been out of action for so long and these strings have become very floppy and that has a direct effect on how the, um, the plectrum behaves so you can, you, you'll hear the pitch is very very low compared to its neighbour and see how the the string really does stretch and stretch before it's played so we have to sort that out in pitch it's just a matter of Pulling it up in, in pitch. Um. I have to pluck the eight to get the approximate pitch. Then we've got more more tension now you see and the string that isn't so flexible at the point of contact of the plectrum. It'll need quite a bit more regulating before this instrument's fully playing. Hope you find it interesting. <laughs>